Hey guys, Stephen Cox here, and today I'm excited to share with you my entire ukulele and U-Bass collection. So that's seven in all, three ukuleles and four U-Basses. So if you're excited to see these different ukuleles and U-Basses, please hit the like button below, and for more U-Bass tutorials, reviews, and demos, please hit subscribe. So this is the Diamond Head DU-107. So this ukulele runs at under $30, even with shipping on Amazon, because sometimes they have free shipping promotions. So I like it because of the dark blue color, and hopefully you can tell it is with uh, that reflection there. And they have it in a whole lot of different colors, so you can probably find your favorite color on this one. And because they are painted ukes, they really do lose a little bit of sound quality. But for what they are, which is a ukulele under $30, I think they're pretty awesome. So the strings feel a little bit stiff and a little bit more like plastic than nylon almost. So you may want to change the strings out, but it's a fun little ukulele to play on. So up next is my Luna Pineapple Uke Tattoo. I really like this one because it has this cool pattern. And I used to be a big like tiki fan when I was growing up. So I really just fell in love with the pattern. But I've had this ukulele for over five years, maybe closer to 10 at this point. It was probably $80 when I bought it. This is the Kala Ebony, K-A-E-B-Y-T-E -E is the model, and it's a tenor ukulele, so I like that it's a little bit bigger, the strings have a little bit more tension, and it makes it easier for me to finger pick. So one thing that I really like about this ukulele is that it has a very warm tone in comparison to the other two. All right, guys, that's it for the ukuleles. Now it's time for the u basses. Hey, guys, up first is the Hadeen or the Hadian. And this one comes in at around $160. And it has the rubber strings, as you can tell, and they're the Aquila Thunderguts. Now they cut corners by not giving you a case when you order it, and all the other U-Bases I bought have come with a case. So I just wanted to go ahead and give this one away when I reach a thousand subscribers. So help me reach a thousand subscribers, and I'll let you know how that giveaway is going to work. I'll probably have subscribers comment on the video to let me know that they want the U-Base, because I don't want it to go to somebody that doesn't really want to play it. So up next, we've got the Kala Wander, and the Kala Wander is the cheapest U-Bass that Kala makes, but it's still pretty good, bang for the buck. Now when I first got it, there was a little bit of fret buzz in certain places, and I had to do a truss rod adjustment. So watch my truss rod adjustment video and see if that's something that you're okay with doing. But after that, it's played pretty well, and I've used it for several videos. So 
this one is about the 200 to $300 price range. I think it comes in somewhere around 250. So it comes with the Aquila Thunderguts as well. And it is a better quality instrument than the Hadean or Hadean. And you get what you pay for. This one is um, a step above that, but they're very similar once plugged in. All right, so up next is my most recent U-Bass. This is the Red Kala Journeyman. And what I like about this one is it comes with the Kala round-wound strings, and that means they're made of metal, and they sound more like an electric bass. So this one looks the coolest. It's got the F holes instead of the sound hole in the middle. And it's red or black or wood grain, depending on which one you get. And it can either come with the round wound strings or it can come with the thunder guts that are on the wander. And the Journeyman runs in the $300 range. So last and certainly not least, this is the Kala Exotic Mahogany U-Bass also with round wound strings. So this one usually comes with rubber strings, but I got it with these from Euchre Public. So I like it a lot. And this was the one that I've had for over a year. And you've probably seen this one on some other videos. So this model runs at about the $400 price range, and it's definitely worth it. You can definitely tell that it's a cut above the others when you play it. I also wanted to mention that I haven't changed the strings since I got this one. So these strings have been on here for a year, and although where the frets are, they look worn. You can probably see it if I get close enough. Uh, you can't really. But at every single fret, there's a little like almost looks like copper, which I'm guessing is what's underneath the um, silver plating. And you can kind of see that at every point where the frets are. And it happened relatively quickly, maybe within a few months. They're still playing really well. They still sound awesome. Still produce harmonics really well. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button below and subscribe for more and stay tuned for the giveaway of the Hadeen, Hadeen, whatever we want to call it. I'm going to give it away at 1,000 subscribers. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.